everybody, Jay Mannion. I am here at the NPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh, and for the second time <laughs> here, and I've just come to realize that it's actually longer than I thought, we have... Ivana Ivusic. And this is her Road to the Olympia. Yes. Okay. How are you? I'm doing really well. Thank you for having me out here. Yes. She literally flew in this morning doing this and then flying back home to finish up her prep for the Olympia. Right. It's been a, quite a day, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's been an awesome day. There's been some really, really high top athletes in here that I've got to get some motivation from right before the Olympia. So, And we kept saying a couple of weeks, but... Um, it's just 13 days. Yeah. I know, <laughs> you, know the, I know you know the hours of minutes. So. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but you know it. Yeah, absolutely. I knew that. <laughs> well, I know one of the things you were excited about was the, the first time you were here is, yes. is uh, the Prez wasn't here. No. Oh, gosh. I was sweating. <laughs> you were fangirling all over the place. Uh, I had, it was my turn to take a photo with them, and I was like, okay, I just need everybody in this room to know that uh, this is my first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty, it was a pretty big deal. I was sweating. I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, why is she sweating? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't mind it. <laughs> no, he didn't mind like it. <laughs> See, I wish my wife was this excited that yeah. she saw me. <laughs> All right. So, going into this year's Olympia, yep. you're coming off a pro win. Mm -hmm. Going in there, what's your mindset like? You know, um, my mindset has been just solely focused on myself and not you know not allowing any distractions and it's easy to be distracted especially with social media nowadays and there's always everyone's posting pictures constantly and I mean Olympia is huge it's a, it's a big deal so really I've been focusing on how to better myself and honestly this time around I've put on in 110% this is the best version I've ever seen of myself and you know when you look in the mirror and you're like this is me I've done this and it's been very rewarding. I have a great team behind me, so we are so, I mean, I'm so excited. If you told me not to eat for the next five, six days, I'd be like, no problem. It's all right here, it really is. And once you have all that figured out, um, you know, the opportunities are endless. And this is your, how many Olympias? This is my fifth Olympia. We were talking, uh, we kind of figured out with everyone else that was yeah. here with Brandon Hendrickson and George Peterson. The class of 2013, there's a lot of people yes. that are in the Olympia again, yes. in, the, in multiple divisions. I, now that we were talking about I'm like, wow, there's actually a lot of people to turn pro in 2013. Absolutely. And here we are, 2019, and, I mean, and they're all top contenders, too. Yep. Yeah. Not height, I mean, like top <laughs> contenders, like for the title. <laughs> right, <laughs> not height-wise. <laughs> Thanks. Good thing I mean, you're all, included hey, in that. Good thing I'll have heels on. Know. Yeah. Well, let's see. So if you had heels on, you'd just be here. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So tell me, how is it training in Arm Bruce Gym for the Olympia? So, of course, I have been training out of Arm Bruce Pro Gym now for about a year. And it is whew, definitely an awakening moment for us because the elevation and the training is night and day. And it has really helped bring my physique together. It has really helped with, especially with conditioning. I was just telling the other athletes uh, that were here when I competed at the Chicago Pro, there was a time where I got off stage at prejudging and I asked my coach, Matt, I was like, was I posing? I don't know if I was posing because I wasn't even breathing hard. And, you know, when we go back and look at videos, it was, I mean, that's really helped me a lot. And um, the training there, the environment, the people, the community that we have at Armors Pro Gym is one to none. I mean, we just keep growing. The MPC is growing. And um, a few of us professional athletes, my husband and I, um, every Saturday, we hold a free posing um, clinic for all the amateurs to come and just to pose with us for free, just to have the opportunity to see what we do and how it's done. And, and of course, that's just, you know, encourage people to continue right. and they're more motivated and especially when you have two great athletes who are dedicating their free time to help right. you it's very meaningful so we have an awesome we had gary out there and gary you did yes we had gary Uta out there and he had a great time we had a great mpc workshop and it's really nice and i was also saying you know to tyler it's so nice to hear different perspectives of you know experiences and to see tyler as such a young judge and him to also speak so hopefully we get to have him out there yeah we would love that. So who's running the clinic on September 14th? <laughs> <laughs> we 
Which clinic? <laughs> the free one, the public <laughs> clinic. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna leave Brett. We're gonna leave Brett behind. Uh, I don't. I don't see that happening. <laughs> <laughs> but she said it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there will probably not be no posing, but um, just, you know, even with like the older people that have been there for the last 20, 30 years, they're so supportive of yeah. the bodybuilding industry, and that's huge for us, and especially for someone like myself coming from Iowa. I mean, we're, we're still growing there, but what we have in Colorado is... Now, how long did it take you to adjust to the altitude? Oh, so we did move last year, and I was eight weeks out from the Olympia, and... It took us about a good six to eight weeks to not feel like crap. You know, you'd be training legs and you were just huffing and puffing, and your right. it, it, yeah, and your brain would just feel a little, a little crazy every once in a while. You just sit down. And Mean more than normal for you? <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> you didn't answer the question. Um, yes, <laughs> absolutely, more than I could handle. <laughs> no, but I mean, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you, why so close to the Olympia? Did you move to, I mean, I could see moving somewhere else, but you're moving to a whole other like, elevation. I mean, was that a conscious yeah. decision or something you wanted to do or had to do? Or, I mean, what about that? Yeah, you know, Brett and I had really briefly thought about it, and we just kind of felt in our hearts it was time for us to do bigger things in life. And that was, there was, that was the time. I mean, it's pretty gutsy, like you said, eight weeks before the Olympia. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you went, like, from Iowa to Chicago or Pittsburgh no. or something where you're in the, but, I mean, Never been to the city, never seen our place, nothing. We just got both of our cars, U-Haul, packed up all of our stuff and left, and it was the best decision that we've made for her. Um, yeah, but I mean, with your training and stuff, I mean, was yeah. there <sighs> Yeah, um, you know, at the time, I was getting help with um, from Dylan Armbrist with that, so that was kind of nice to have him close by um, and to be in that kind of environment. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a very, very hard decision, but uh, we totally adjusted quickly, and I think in our mindset we were like, "This train, everything was just, you're just right. so excited, and, and that that there was no, there's nothing negative, no negative right. thoughts about it. So everything just went really well. All right. So we always do. Is there anybody that you want to give a shout out to? You want to thank, or, or anybody you want to talk smack on? You know. Oh no. Uh, but no, I really do want to take the time to kind of speak out to you guys, and saying saying like what an impo how important it is for you to take your time to have the right coach and the right team and the right people behind you when you're competing in such a prestigious sport. I think that's really big for me and I want to give a shout out to Matt Jansen, Camp Jansen for getting me to my best physique and you guys are going to be so excited when you guys see us at the Olympia because we just keep getting better and of course I want to thank my husband and Arbor's Pro Gym and sponsors have been amazing to me and um, Revive MD, uh, some of the best products that have gotten me through this prep that have really allowed me to acknowledge my health which is key especially if we want to continue having a long um, career right um, and along with of course granite supplements I've been with them for four or five years now liquid sun rays six years now so I really have a great team behind me and like this is the most exciting year for me for the Olympia so I am just oh, so many I mean I would, I would be getting my makeup done every single day by a sponsor which is so exciting for the gala, for the uh, Meet the Olympians. So just so many things happening and things are really falling into place. So uh, it's nice to see that the hard work is paying off. Right. It doesn't happen just like that. Yeah. You know how long it took me to come to this gym? Oh, just that. Well, and then come to the gym and then finally meet the press too. Oh my gosh. We walked in and I was like, that gym's here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right, so we'll see you in how many hours in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> so soon, and I can't wait to see everybody. And again, thank you for having me out here. This is a privilege. I just said, Brett, sorry, you can't come. It's only Ivana invited. <laughs> right? Right? Tell him, tell him. It was. He's not on the road to the He's Olympia. wondering why he's not here. <laughs> I mean, no, no offense. I, mean, I didn't this need is, anybody this is... to carry my bags this time. You always do, but... <laughs> No, but it is the road to the Olympia. Yes, yeah, I is. mean, uh, and you know, that's a, it's kind of like the road to the Arnold. I mean, yeah. the people that are doing it. I mean, I get people help and different things, but we do like to keep the focus on the athlete. I love it. So, yeah. you know, so when he gets his road to the Arnold and road to the Olympia next year, we'll have him, and you get to stay home. <laughs> oh, he's already saying I'm not going to qualify. Listen to this. Well, we do them separate. Uh, 
He, he, he might not want you here. He might not. He might not. <laughs> he might just call me on the side and make his own like, plans. Okay, hey, let's just let's skip on Iman on this year. You know? yeah. We're not saying yeah. you're not going to make it next year. We're not saying that you want to already be the Olympia champion next year. Right. You could be the Olympia champion yeah, next year. Yeah, you know, and it, for young athletes watching this, I know you guys all follow the follow these videos, especially the road to the Olympia. Like, you know, we're, yes, we're joking a lot, but the truth is that you really don't know what you're capable of doing until you set your mind to it. And I think that's so important. And it's really important to stay on your own path. Yep. Stay on your own path. We all have different paths in life. And if you stick to your own, then you get to have a great story to tell at the end when you've worked your butt off and you everything that you have, you've deserved. That's huge for me. Good. Well, Jay Emanuel. Ivana Ivusic. We will see you at the Olympia. Yeah.